This is the story of a psychopath who enjoys seeing people in pain. He harms others, and when he sees them suffering, it brings him happiness. The story begins. Clara is not Caesar's wife. She lives in the building where Caesar works as the caretaker. Every night, Caesar goes to Clara's room, puts chloroform on her, sleeps with her, and leaves before dawn. One day, Clara is on her way to work and asks Caesar for the time as he stands by her door. She smiles and leaves. Seeing her happy, Caesar feels disturbed. He enjoys hurting people through his words or actions. Later that evening, when Clara returns from work, she lies down on her bed to rest. Caesar is hiding under the bed, and after Clara falls asleep, he applies chloroform to her again and mixes some chemicals into her everyday cosmetics. Afterward, Caesar goes to her room and sleeps near her, leaving before sunrise. One day, a girl named Arcana notices him leaving and begins blackmailing Caesar. Clara uses the cosmetics where Caesar has mixed the chemicals, but nothing happens to her, and she continues to go to work happily, which frustrates Caesar. In another scene, we see a mother and daughter who work as trainers in the building. Caesar continues to add chemicals to Clara's lotions, and over time, their effect starts showing on Clara's face. Caesar also writes painful letters to Clara and sends cruel messages. But even then, he isn't satisfied. So he fills her room with bugs using sweet substances, causing Clara to panic. She seeks help from Caesar. He gives her some clothes and bags, and Clara cheerfully leaves for work. Before leaving, she asks Caesar to manage her routine. Clara reports the painful messages to the police, and an investigation begins. Caesar manages to get the apartment cleaner involved in the investigation, and the police take him away. This only elevates Caesar's psychotic behavior, and he plans to kill Clara. He waits for her under her bed one night, but Clara returns that night with her boyfriend, and they begin getting intimate. Caesar, who is hiding under the bed, gets angry. In his rage, he accidentally spills chloroform on her boyfriend's face. The boyfriend loses consciousness, and Caesar tries to escape, but fails. When he wakes up the next morning, he finds himself in the bathroom. Just in front of him, Clara is brushing her teeth, which disturbs him. Caesar's bag is there as well. Clara wonders whose bag it is. Caesar sneaks away unnoticed, but is caught. He lies, saying that the bag was his, and that he had left it behind the day before while cleaning the room. Clara hands it to him, and he leaves. Caesar plans to leave the apartment soon. One day, a lady approaches him and says that they will miss him. Caesar responds in a way that makes the lady upset, and she walks away. Clara and her boyfriend plan to go on a weekend trip. Caesar finds out about it and becomes so mentally disturbed that he decides to commit suicide. He climbs to the terrace, but as he looks down, he sees that Clara has returned. In fact, she is pregnant. But whenever they are intimate, they use protection, which angers her boyfriend. He accuses Clara of something impossible, and that night, while they are both asleep, Caesar knocks them both unconscious and sleeps with Clara. The next morning, when her boyfriend realizes that Clara is missing, he calls Caesar and starts interrogating him. The boyfriend finds a chloroform bottle and his suspicion falls on Caesar. A fight breaks out between them, during which Clara's boyfriend is killed. Caesar tries to make the murder look like a suicide. The police arrive the next morning to investigate, but they find no clues. Arcana, who has been watching everything, knows what happened. That night, Caesar knocks out Arcana's entire family and threatens to kill them if she tells the police anything. The next morning, another investigation takes place, but again, the police find nothing. A few months later, we see Clara leaving the apartment with her mother. Clara is crying, and Caesar finally feels a sense of relief. Later, Clara is seen holding a child, believing that the child is her boyfriend's. Caesar sends her a letter where he reveals the truth about what happened. Clara is devastated when she reads it, and Caesar feels immense pleasure in knowing that he has caused her lifelong misery. The movie ends here, 